Hello guys, so today I want to talk about this new and cool social media app which is called Vero and uh, running under the label True Social. Uh, so, yeah, probably I've already missed out the hype because this was had it has had its height at about somewhere last week. Uh, let's talk a bit about the promises and features of uh, Vero. So uh, mainly the the main thing which uh, Vero is promising or is featuring is that it's for one ad free. There is no algorithm. They want to collect as little data as possible and they won't share this data to their ad partners because they don't have some. And also they uh, feature a better or a more easier control of sharing or what share what you are sharing to whom. Um, I think that the no algorithm part is is probably the most important at the moment or why the app is, is so hyping so much at the moment because um, yeah Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, they all use the algorithm and this has some advantages but in the most places it has big disadvantages especially for us creators because uh, the algorithm decides who is seeing your posts and uh, if you are a creator your followers will usually not see your posts so they say like 10 to 15 percent of your posts are actually shown to your followers on instagram for example uh, the other thing is for for the user side um, the algorithm has the big big, big disadvantage that uh, it also controls what you see and it's not probably probably not so much uh, showing you what you want to see but what brings the most money to Instagram and Instagram is uh, by the way owned by Facebook in case you didn't know it so um, what Vero is trying to replace or uh, augment or whatever is uh, mainly Facebook and Instagram uh, let's talk a bit about the or we have had have also a bit of a controversy going on about Vero and let's talk a bit about the downsides um, when you when you look at the app store they have like a two star rating which is quite bad some people had technical problems but most people complained about uh, the need to enter a phone number when signing up for vero um, i can understand the developer here um, they really can uh, minimize the amount of fake accounts that way uh, and spamming accounts and stuff like this so um, yeah it's, I think it's a viable critic if you haven't installed WhatsApp on your phone. Um, yeah, okay, but most people have WhatsApp and then uh, you should not really worry about giving away your phone number. So, um, yeah, that being said, um, many people criticize that and I can understand it to a degree, but um, we, we are mostly here in opposition to Facebook. Uh, so, and I think most people are either on Instagram, WhatsApp or Facebook uh, and probably most people on all three of them and they already have all your data uh, your all data or more data about you than you have yourself so um yeah but there are people who are aware of the problems and who don't have instagram or don't have whatsapp or stuff and yeah your critic is uh, is very available uh, also uh, vero is only promising that they won't that they don't want to um to share your data that they don't want to collect data it's uh, all yeah you know that the way to hell is flustered with uh, with good intentions so nobody really knows how this turns out in the long term and also we have the other side um especially there, there are many uh, parallels here to whatsapp in the in the whole app and in the whole app development and especially in the pay model and stuff so um so yeah there there's so many parallels but whatsapp was by was bought by um by facebook uh, quite a while ago so all your data which you deemed to be safe from facebook is now there um, even if they told you otherwise I, I really i saw stuff going on with your phone numbers which really makes me suspecting that uh, facebook is really digging into the data of whatsapp uh, but this is uh, a whole other topic so um yeah, but basically, um, no algorithm. So you have a timeline structure, like in your YouTube subscriptions. Um, yeah, which has some advantages. And many people prefer over a whole 100% uh, algorithm controlled uh, interface, like uh, Facebook has now and Instagram has now. Uh, 
I think the the problems here is a bit with the uh, said with the phone numbers. Uh, this is a bit of problem, technical problems at the moment because the app is really hyped. Um, with the ad free, there comes also a question: How viable is this app going to be, uh, payment wise? Does does this app has a chance of of ever um, really working out financially? Oh, what's this? Um, no. Um, and this is this is really not clear. They they promise the first million people should get the app lifetime free, and they have uh, hit three million recent. They, they extended the campaign, so it's for that from that guys. It's uh, interesting to go there, but it's also like uh, this fear of missing out effect, which many people drives many people to Vero at the moment. Um, so maybe they will turn on our payments at one point where new people have to pay. Um, given if you look at the, the financial numbers from uh, Facebook, uh, then you have to to see that uh, Facebook makes like uh, between five and six dollars per per user per year. So um, and giving away so many of your private informations for just so little money, yeah, it's it's uh, really something to to think about. And I think this is something where it really hits a, a point. I'm just um, streaming through this on Vero first hashtag, so not sure why there are so many uh, nude legs. Um, I'm also not sure if they, how they handle, handle nipples and stuff. Um, yeah, and probably now I'm getting banned from YouTube for using such words and showing such drastic pictures here. It's just to give you an uh, impression what's on there. I really haven't really, I'm not really a guy who scrolls to uh, such apps on a regular basis, so um, something I'm not usually doing. Just a bit to to give something for you to see, um, yeah. Uh, so that's uh, with the payment. It's, it's really not clear. Um, will they change the pay model? And this is what something which was is very uh, similar to to WhatsApp in that case that they they made the app free at start and uh, then they wanted to you pay to pay for it and some sometimes they just go went ahead and baked it free for all times and sold it to um, to Facebook. So nobody really knows how this will work out on Vero. Uh, but uh, actually subscriptions are not the only way uh, Vero is going to make money. Um, they're also selling stuff directly on the platform like books and uh, videos and I think they sold the car stuff. Uh, so they, they are doing a bit of uh, the good affiliation thing there. Um, which has its pros and cons as well, uh, and I actually wanted to do a video about that for quite a while, as I haven't done it. This looks quite interesting. So, um, then there's another critic or controversial point, this is um, the background of one of the founders, I forgot his name actually, uh, bad preparation, but uh, basically he's the son of the um, of, uh, of the Prime Minister of the Lebanon, which was assist, uh, this was killed in a terrorist attack in 2005. Uh, he also was involved with um, a, a shady, or his family had a shady Saudi Arabian uh, construction company, uh, I think Ogur or something. Um, not not quite sure. I haven't. I really haven't. I really haven't. Uh, get done a conclusion for myself uh, regarding where on that point uh, so I'm really open to it but I think um, yeah I really don't think that uh, Mark that uh, Zuckerberg is the best person as well uh, so whom do are we tr going to trust I think uh, Vero does have good intentions and they are promising good intentions how this ends nobody can really tell at the moment uh, so I wouldn't go too deep, or I, I wouldn't see it so negative from that point. Uh, I think another thing which was criticized, which could be a problem, especially if you're thinking about signing up, is that it's probably, or it's, it was talked about, that it's really difficult to get your account deleted after you leave the app. So um, this could also be a problem. So uh, should you go on Vero? I think everybody has to know for himself. As I, say, as I said, you have to give your phone number. It's probably very difficult to get your account uh, Deleted. Oh, there was also a thing about Russian employees, but I, I really, I really, it's 2018, so I really don't think this is a problem. Just because um, the person, so the the CEO from the company, responded that uh, it's not really important from which country his employees are, and I think this is quite uh, wise. Uh, um, uh, from 
So, but if you are thinking about it, you should maybe take a look at the controversy um, or make you form your own thoughts about it. Uh, I think there is there is this thing about missing fear of missing out. Um, maybe you have a unique username which you want to reserve. Uh, so there, there are some viable reasons to go there, but uh, be aware you have to enter your phone number. You may not be able to delete your account without any problems. Uh, that's that. Uh, is it better than Instagram? Uh, I cannot really say. Uh, I haven't Instagram used Instagram so much in the last time and I really like the Vero app uh, from the usability side. Um, maybe let's... I wanted to post something here just to to give you an uh, overview how... Just uh, just have to find out how it works. So we go here to this, to this ad. Then I already have a picture prepared somewhere in my yeah. is this the right one so i've already picture prepared so we're going to share a picture place is not really important then um i am just making a video about where I'm usually not using hashtags because you know, uh, from my experience in Instagram, if you use hashtags, you get spammed so much. Uh, it's really not funny anymore. So now, now we um, we have here this control. So we, we can really uh, go here and say, um, who is going to see those posts? Uh, I didn't notice. So I don't have so many people at the moment here. So we have like close friends, uh, friends, acquaintances and uh, followers. So, and then you can also share to Facebook and Twitter, but I haven't found out if there, any, if there is any possibility to get it on my on my professional professional Facebook page. So that's something I am still figuring out. Um, actually, Facebook's, Facebook gives you much more control in that regard. Um, you can define it much more detailed. You can do much more groups, but the feature is a bit hidden in Facebook. So um, I really would say, it's better solved here. Even if I would, I would need, like to have a bit more control. Uh, so let's just share this on everywhere. And now it's gone out, and you also can see on the on the post here, right, to whom it went. So, um, so you can follow basically most people, or you can check the privacy settings. Um, you just I haven't used it so much so far. Probably here, yeah, settings. Um, we can uh, allow people to follow me or you can disallow it uh, or you can say people can contact me, can uh, try to contact me uh, all the stuff you can check out is for buying stuff yeah so um, overall I really like the interface so far I had no I, I personally had no technical problems with the app just uh, was very slow to uh, to launch in some instances. So you can also use three advert advertars. I'm still not one. So yeah, I really hope you guys are also checking out the app and go to follow me on Vero. Um, yeah, I, I really like the app so far. Um, it's really hard to say at the moment. My 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 um, my initial assessment at the moment is that it probably won't kill Instagram or Facebook or ever grow even partially as big but for me personally i think uh, it could in really uh, practically replace instagram for me and especially um for me it really feels like this could be uh, my my main platform for sharing stuff uh, if i figure out how to to get the stuff working with facebook right because i want to i have uh, i created a not professional but a, a, like a company facebook page for my channel and uh, i really would prefer if my if my uh, shares from here would go there to something I really have to, to check on the computer but uh, at the moment there's only the Vero app there's there's a web page but you the whole thing the whole network runs uh, app based on iOS or Android so uh, yeah there's not no really no real uh, possibility to 
so we edit this it uh, there's no real possibility to um to um to change settings on the website or something as far as i have seen so, so from so yeah i think it's, it's a nice app uh, i really like the the promises the guys are doing but it's really not uh, not easy to say if they can keep their promises if they um if they will stay uh, the way they are if they um especially the the point when there will be maybe a point at some point where they when, when they switch to payment and this could probably kill off their their whole growth so um it's probably going to be like like whatsapp that they never actually uh put on the payments uh, and run for free for all times ever. Um, yeah, but then on the long term, they maybe get problems because their financing model is not based on ads. So, um, and as I said, you can sell stuff there like books, uh, something you can share here like a movie and then people could like buy it right away and they would get a provision. So um, the, the basic um, affiliation stuff which has its pros and cons, as I said. Uh, so, yeah, All right. in case you're joining Vero, if you haven't been aware of the hype, if you haven't heard, heard about it like myself, um, yeah, I would really welcome you guys to follow me or contact me and get, get into my friends list here uh, if you're already in contact with me. Yeah, yeah so far I can recommend the app, but um, I'm... I cannot promise any future for it in the long term, I think. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're still here. And, yeah, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.